Uh, are you able and to your uh, voice is breaking my voice is breaking what वंडरफुल वर्ड्स Sir, sir, why is it breaking? Sir, why is it breaking? Ah, uh, yes. Sir, sir, that is why it is coming late. Ah, uh, okay. Sir, sir, uh, it may break? take a little bit time, but okay. The title of this poem is sir, the wonderful words. The title of this poem is the wonderful words. Okay. I hope you are able to see this screen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have Now a problem. Can see. Yes, see sir. Okay. Okay, fine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, let's go to this uh, poem and let's uh, study this poem. Right, the wonderful words. So imagine a world without language. So you imagine if language is not there, then what we would have been able to do if we want to communicate something, if we want to convey something to someone. gestures ah gesture okay gesture uh, yes through gesture also we can communicate right but if the language is there then definitely see gesture we have got limitation in the case of gesture we have got a limitation but in the case of language it is not so isn't it so in the case of uh, yes okay uh, i'm just allowing others to get in it's a better in case if you come in the right time it will be better okay so let's go to this i can see that so many boys are joining now so late they are joining okay right yes sir but because they haven't got the link ah uh, right uh have you shared the link to all the groups yes sir i have shared to 66 by 66 ah uh, yeah so wait sir i will share no uh, anybody abhunesh uh, can you share to see Somebody else. Can yes, sir. I will share. Ah, uh, sir, I will share. Oh, six to six. Ah, uh, right. Sir, 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 and my voice is also quite clear today and it's a such yes, a beautiful sir. poem let's study this poem and let's understand this poem and some of you i have seen you you are very good at playing different musical instruments at the same time yes uh, you are quite creative also yes so let's see uh, how you can make use of the words yes uh, to come out with you know beautiful expressions so some of you said that yes we can communicate using gestures but what here the poet wants to say that yes using words yes using words we can come out with a very beautiful presentation expression so the words are wonderful words so how they are wonderful let's see here so the title of this poem is wonderful words okay uh dinesh vinit they are joining very late okay right never let a thought shrivel and die and let's see how to recite a poem when you want to recite a poem you have to raise your voice you know yes you should learn to recite a poem okay the modulation of of your voice 
is also very important when you are reciting a poem. Uh, that day I tried to avoid reciting a poem because my voice was not clear, but today it's quite clear. So I'm able to recite a poem now. So you can try at your level also. Okay. Never let a thought shrivel and die. So in your mind, so many thoughts will be taking its birth. The poet says that so many thoughts, so many ideas. What are thoughts? Thoughts are ideas, isn't it? They'll be always coming in your mind. And never allow, never let, never allow a thought shrivel when you think about something. Sir, your voice is not clear. Thinking? Yes. My voice is not clear. Okay. No, sir, it's clear. It's clear, sir. It is very clear, sir. It is his network okay. issue. Ah, okay, okay, fine. So then in that case, should I keep my video on? Okay, I'll keep it. Yes, sir. You, yes, sir. Your... You keep your video on, sir. We are having no problem, sir. Okay, okay, fine. Yes, sir. We have very... no problem. Sorry. Uh, sir, you do. I feel the authoritative voice of Satvik. Okay. Uh, that's yes, the sir. voice of a leader, future leader. Yes. Very good voice. Okay, let's Thank go you, ahead with this poem. Wonderful words. The title of this poem and wonderful poem, this poem. Because it teaches a lot about the language, about the words that we use. Never let a thought shrivel and die. So if any idea comes in your mind, yes, it should never dry up. It should never die. It should never dry up. It should never die. And if it dries up, what will happen? Then it will die. So your thought, you can give, you know, a way out for that. Maybe through a poem, you can give a way out. Through an essay, you can give a way out. For want of a way to say it. So there is a need of a way. There is a need of a way. You want to express something. Yes, when you want to express something, yes, you always find a way out. Yes, what are you find, trying to find? You are trying to find a way out. And what is the way out? That is what... Uh, what is the way out? That is what the poet is asking us. Now, let's see here. The poet further says, For English is a wonderful game, and all of you can play it. So, English language, as far as English language is concerned, it's a wonderful game. You see, some of the words, how beautiful those words are. Just think over it. Take, for example, thunder. The moment you say thunder, you know, that sound that it makes. Actually, these words have evolved or taken their birth due to the kind of connotation they have. Okay. So that's why since for English is a wonderful game and all of you can, you can go on playing with the words. Isn't it? The moment, you know, something soft, it is a soft. You know, the way we say soft, sponge, sponge, the way we say sponge, rivers, you know, streams flow as if it's flowing, water is flowing, wind is blowing, blow, flow. See, the way the words have evolved in English language, the way the words have taken birth in English language, it's such a wonderful language, it's such a wonderful game. If you really want to play with language, if you really want to play with the words, it's a wonderful thing. That's what the poet feels about it. All that you do is match the words. See some of those rhyming words. When you were children, you learned about all that. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you... See, when you were thinking about that. So how you were probably, you know, looking at the star there in the sky. Uh, what is that? Uh, something, uh, Varuni wants to say something, Pundesh Lake, Shlok, you are communicating something? Yes? Okay, let's come to this poem. Audio is clear, boys? Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, uh, sir, it's clear, sir. Ah, okay. So, all that you do is match the words. Yes? Yes, Bhunesh? So, matching of the words 
No rhyming of the words. I am telling yes. A rhyming of the words. So rhyming of the words. All these things. Yes. So these are all the things that is making it what that is making it wonderful. These yes. That is what is making this language wonderful. Now here I can see two shivas. Yes. All right. And all of you, okay, fine. All that you do is match the words to the brightest thoughts in your head. And the brightest thoughts in your head. So some sort of bright thought that will come in your mind. So you have to match the words. See, when you want to express something, some ideas come in your mind. And when you want to express something, then what happens? then you have to express in words. So some bright ideas that is there in your mind, you have to match the words with that bright idea. So when you are matching those words with that bright idea, you are giving expression to that. You are giving life to that. What the poet was saying, you are giving life to that. Isn't it? So those bright ideas, yes, that come in your mind. Yes, the reflection of that, where can you see that? That you can see where? When you give presentation to that, when you give expression to that, so that they come out clear and true, so that you are able to tell very clearly, you are able to tell truly, you are able to tell aptly, suitably, and handsomely groomed. And those ideas that is being developed in your mind, that is grown up there, groomed there, favored there, yes, that too handsomely, yes, and fade, and that is fade again and again, that is fade there, yes, again and again, that is grown up there in your mind, yes, for many of the loveliest things have never been said. So many lovely things that will be there in your mind. And those loveliest things that will be expressed when the thoughts, bright thoughts that occur in your mind and you match those bright thoughts with the words of expression. So how beautifully the poet is writing about this. That the words are wonderful, but what is very important is you have to express those words using the ideas that come in your mind. And very important one which the poet says here, words are the food and grace of thought. What are the words? Words are the food and grace of thought. What are the food and grace of thought? Those are the words. Words are the food of thought. Because, yes, food of thought. So thought will come in your mind. And what is the food of thought? Now when you want to express that thought, when you want to feed that thought, you have to feed it in expression. You are giving a dress to that thought. How? When you want to give a dress to that thought, when you want to show the appearance of that thought, it is only through words you can show the appearance of that thought. The thought that has come in your mind. Yes, how beautifully. Yes, APJ Abdul Kalam says. Thoughts, you see, when he talks about feelings and all, thoughts transform into, you know, he talks about feelings and all. They all transform and ultimately thoughts transform into action, he says. So ideas will come and then ultimately that has to be into the actions. And if you want to get into the action, it is only through expression it is possible. Yes, it is only through expression it is possible. Okay. So let's go to the next one now. Words are the food and grace of thought. They give it its a body and swing. And they are the ones, these words are the words which will provide the body and then you'll start swinging. And everyone's longing today to hear. So everyone will have a desire. Longing means what? 
have a desire today to hear. So everybody will be desirous of some fresh thing, some fresh thought, some fresh expression, beautiful expressions. What is there in a poem? Beautiful expressions are there in a poem. So words are over so beautifully in a poem. And when you know when you are overcome with feelings, when you are always thinking a lot deeply, you suitably express them and that too in short words, then it turns out to be a poem. You know, poet so beautifully he expresses. He doesn't require more words, he requires apt words, he requires require suitable words, he requires few words. But within those short words, within those few words, he expresses so beautifully. And everyone's longing today to hear some fresh and beautiful thing. But only words can free your thought. It's only words that can give free, that can, yes, freedom to the thought. So the idea is there in the mind. But how that idea will have its life, how that idea will free itself, it can free itself when you view those ideas into the words. When you give them, you know, if you really want to give life to those thoughts or ideas, it's only words by which you can give life to that. You can free that thought from your mind only when you express it words. So from its prison behind your eyes. And where the thoughts take its birth, we think that in the mind the thought takes its birth. And where is that mind? We feel that it is beyond, behind our eyes. So from eyes, we see everything. Our perception depends upon our eyes, what we see around that. Isn't it? And that is how we, con we conceal everything. And then we think about all that. There's a kind of prison that is there. Our head is a kind of prison. And when we express those ideas, we are giving expression to that. Yes, and only we can give that expression only through what? Only through words. Okay, let's move. Maybe your mind is holding now a marvelous new surprise. So in your mind, in your mind, probably something very wonderful, new idea, surprising idea. That is probably it is there in your mind, and probably why to hold it back. Come on, express it. That's what the poet says. And so beautifully, the poet has told about the importance of words, wonders of words, marvels of words. I hope you understood the poet. Yes? yes. Who is the poet? What is the name of the poet? Mary O'Neill. Mary O'Neill. Mary O'Neill. Mary O'Neill. Quiet today, my dear boys. Why so much quiet? Yes. Why are you so quiet? Yes. Sir, because some people are spamming in the chat box for being co-host as uh, Satvik Banigirad and other child. Uh, I know that. You don't bother about them. Yes, sir. Some boys will be nuisance. Okay? You don't worry about yes, sir. them. Sir, we are what is that? You have to look at that. Sir, they are what is spamming that? very much and that. And you have to leave it all that. Okay? Sir, they are spamming very much yes. and our screen is getting covered, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is that? Only Punyashlok is just coming, sir. Punyashlok and Satrik Bani is coming in my private list by person telling I'm a drone from computer, make me co host, make me co host. Yes, sir. Satrik is going on coming to put. Yes, sir. And he was. Yes, sir. He was telling bad language to Punyashlok, he told in class. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. Anyway, I have not been able to see that what he has spoken and all. Okay. No, no, sir, he haven't right. spoken. Okay. All right, you don't worry about all that. Sir, okay. Sir, what? Satvik, what? Uh, we don't know exactly who is this boy. Okay. Sir, Satvik, Bunny Gidat, sir. Bunny Gidat, not sorry, ah, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Punish look, sir. Punish look. Ah, okay, don't worry. Sir, he okay. left the meeting now only. Ah, right. He left the meeting, sir. sir we are 
Ah, okay. Okay, you left the meeting. Okay, you have to okay, concentrate fine. on the class, sir. Okay, yes, you sir. concentrate on the class. Okay, don't bother what all is going on there, right? Okay, I I hope you sir, understood the, the point. Sir, on the screen, the messages are coming, sir. What? Sir, on the screen, the messages are coming. We can't see the screen, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, the people who are joining from mobile phones can't see the screen. They are spamming very much. Make me cost. Make me cost. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The whole screen is getting covered with the yes, chat sir. messages. That is remaining for one to two minutes. Oh. Uh, uh, yes, sir. At least eighty percent are joining with mobile phones, and they are facing a great trouble, sir. Okay. 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 Uh. Yes, sir. Disable the chat. Ah, okay. Shall I disable the chat? Yes, sir. Disable the chat. And make anyone co-host, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, if I make somebody co-host, yes. Sir, Satik Bani Girad was spamming me in privately. Yes, sir. Ah, okay. Don't see. Don't worry about all that. Okay, I can see what all. Okay, fine. I can't see the screen share. Yes, sir. Punish Lok was spamming because he was telling to you that Satvik Manigade is spamming in his chat box. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so Satvik Manigade is becoming a big problem, isn't it? Yes, sir. He is becoming like a mad person of the world, sir. Ah, okay, okay. In every class, in SST class, he creates mischief that. Uh, spamming very much and many people doesn't see in Hindi class also. But I disable the chat. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Uh, now, see, this poem is very, very important. Let's discuss some of the questions on this poem. Shall we move ahead? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not, uh, heard this poem? You can once again see in the website. Okay, whatever because the recording yes is being done of this poem. Okay. So even okay, whatever sir. we have discussed, that will also be there. But don't worry about all that, right? You can just listen to that. I mean, uh, whatever I have discussed here in this particular class, right? I can see that Satvik uh, Bandigat is now out, and he is waiting in the lobby. I will not allow him. Okay. So. Okay, right. sir. Ah, uh, so let's. Uh, I will ask you some questions of this poem. Shall I ask you questions? Yes, right? sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Now tell me, what is the title of this poem? See, sometimes this kind of question will be asked. The title of this poem. What is the, the title? wonderful words, sir? The wonderful. Ah, the, wonder the wonderful words. words. So, yes. The the wonderful the food words. Of thought. Yes. What are the food of thought? What are the food of thought? Uh, the food of thought. Are the food of thought? Sir, the words are only the fruit as thoughts. Sir, the words are considered as a fruit of thoughts. Okay. Sir, words are the fruit of thought. Okay, fine. Now here, the poet, you know, talks about that. He says that never let a thought shrivel. What does shrivel mean? What is the meaning of the word shrivel? Shrivel means what? Shrivel means. Dry up. Sir, cold. Yes, cold means what? Dry up. Drying up. Cold means what? Dry 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 up. Cold means Shrivel. Don't allow any thought to shrivel means what? Never allow any thought to dry up. जब भी कोई idea दिमाग में आ जाता है ना, तो उस idea को expression दे दो. You give expression to that idea. That's what the poet says. हमारे दिमाग में बहुत कुछ आ जाता है ना, अलग-अलग idea. Idea को क्या बोलते हैं हम हिंदी में? Sir, हिंदी में नहीं. कर्नाटक 
सर हम उसको सोच भी बोल सकते हैं ना हिंदी में सोच द पोएट से इंग्लिश इज अ वंडरफुल गेम तो व्हाई डज ही से दैट इंग्लिश इज अ वंडरफुल गेम विथ व्हाट यू कैन प्ले ऑल ऑफ यू कैन प्ले ऑल ऑफ यू कैन प्ले विथ व्हाट व्हाट द पोएट से ऑल ऑफ यू कैन प्ले विथ टेल बोथ ऑफ यू पुट द स्लो कैन सात्विक टेल नो प्रॉब्लम टेल व्हाट यस पुट द स्लो वर्ड्स यस यू कैन प्ले विथ वर्ड्स see the kind of questions that will be asked is with what you can play you can play with words ha manjunath anil sir manjunath sir manjunath anil anil ha manjunath yes sir he is a dirty fellow sir who oh, manjunath also yes sir yes sir yes sir manjunath who is manjunath anil badger Anil Badiger, okay. He left the meeting, sir. He left the meeting now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you able to see the screen? Going and going out, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Are you able to see the screen? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Now we can see, sir. Now we can see. Now we can see, sir. Now we can see. Yes, sir. Now we can see, sir. Okay, fine. Now see here. I'm just asking because this poem is very important from. your examination point of view the examination which you are going to write because this time you have to write the sentences okay you have to write correct sentences and some of those who are appealing again and again they will definitely be punished okay don't be don't worry about all that yes sir no yes sir <coughs> and now here the poet says you have to match the words with what you have to match the words with what You have to match the words with thought, 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 thought. With the thoughts, with the brightest thought. thoughts. When bright ideas take their birth, you you have to give life to that. You have to means what here? You have to give expression to that. See, thoughts will come in your mind. Bright thoughts will come in your mind. But my yes, sir. You have, to do, you have to give expression, and how it is possible? You have to match the words. Okay. So with what yes, you have to match the words? You have to match the words with thoughts. So thoughts. Now what we are doing? Thoughts. We are, thoughts. Yeah, looking at that particular aspect. Question answers. Okay. Question answers. The kind of questions that will be asked and how you can give answers for this. So let's go to the next one now. Here the poet says, "For many of the loveliest things have never yet been said." What does he mean by that? So when you are giving expression. when you are telling about all that there are many lovely things to express there are many beautiful things to tell there are many wonderful things to tell <coughs> and further he says words are what the poet says that words are food of thought i have ever been said ha uh, why does food and dress of thought words are food, of words thought? Are food and dress food and dress of thought Yes, words are food and yes, dress of food and dress of thoughts. They give body and body. Yes, they are giving body to the expression, and then you are able to swing. Means then you are able to enjoy. And everybody is having a desire to hear something fresh, new, beautiful thing. Okay. so very important okay, question sir all ah, right next word <clears throat> ah let, let's go to the next word now but only words can free a thought from its prison behind your eyes but only words can free a thought from its prison behind your eyes Sir, so, but only can free a thought from its prison uh, behind. Mean by only words can free a thought from its uh, prison behind your eyes. What you were eyes. That? Yes. What does it mean? Yes, you can tell about that. Uh, but only words can free. Sir, so, I words know. Words can free a thought. Free a thought from its prison uh, behind our eyes. Means, uh, sir, behind. Uh, 
behind our eyes means mind sir uh, can free a thought mind, from yes. mind when some idea comes in your mind and when it is imprisoned you can need the idea to come out of your mind only it is possible only through words so everything whatever the poet is talking about it is only about words okay i okay sir okay i just sir, want to ask you another right? thing about later right yeah punesh lok you you have got some question to ask yes tell sir what is your i question? told that uh, it its meaning is mind sir is it correct or wrong sir no no it's it's a see here now mind is correct but here ultimately they will ask you about words yes what can free the thought from the mind or from its prison like that question will come if that kind of question comes then you have to say words will free the thought from its prison okay they will not ask you okay, about sir. mind but they will ask you what can free the thought from its prison like that question will come okay okay so sir it's okay sir this look Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Clear, sir. Okay. Ah, uh, right. So now here, let's go to the next one. Now, maybe your mind is holding now a marvelous new surprise. Now, at the end, he comes here and he says, probably in your mind, yes, something wonderful new idea that is coming coming up there in your mind. Okay. Ah, uh, see, I want to ask you some questions now. You can just uh, tell me about this. About letter writing, have you studied about letter writing? Yes, yes, boy. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. What? Sir, you revise one more time, sir. Sir, ma'am, uh. told me, sir, ma'am. Huh? Is it taught to you? Yes, sir. Yes, letter writing, yes, or it is to be taught. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. English, ma'am. Yes, tell me. Madhu Thakur, ma'am. Madhu Thakur, ma'am, I told sir. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, Madhu Thakur, madam, has taught you what? Letter writing, she has taught. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Letter writing, sir. Because letter writing Only is there in the exam this time. time. Okay, yeah. this time it is there in the exam. Sir, That's why what is not taught sir, you. Sir, once again, once again, you revise. Sir, once again, you revise. Sir, you mean personal letter or uh, official letter, sir? Yes, it's going to be personal letter. It's not going to be official letter. It's going to be informal letter. A letter to a friend. You know that kind of question will be asked. Yes, sir. Okay. Sir, can we sing this poem? Can we? Official. Sing this poem, sir. Can we recite a poem? Sing it. Yes, you can recite a poem. Sir, invitation. 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 Sir, invitation.